giant cup of coffee. Check. Knife. Check. Welcome back, guys. Well, we're out here to discuss the Blade HQ exclusive Spider Co's Gale Bradley 2 with the jade handles. But this time, along with this, this change, we've got crew wear. And man, this sucker is slicey. So, uh, let's talk about it. All right, here we go, back to the tailgate. Here we are, the Gale Bradley 2, Blade HQ exclusive. Man, the lighting's a little dim over here, sorry guys. The sun's not quite where I want it, but you can kind of see. Let's just talk about this uh, handle first. This sucker is surprisingly grippy. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know, can you say soft sandpaper? That's interesting. That's an option. It's a choice. That's a describing phrase. But yeah, this thing is, uh, I would say grippy. I've never owned, this is my first Gale Bradley 2. Uh, I've never had the, um, the, uh, the other one, what's it called? Uh, the carbon fiber. I've never had the carbon fiber version. I'm assuming it's a little more smooth than the, than this. But uh, yeah, this thing's got a great feel to it. Let's go over some specs. I mean, overall length is 8.5 inches. Blade length is 3.63 uh, inches. And the handle is 4.8 inches. We got the Crew Wear Blade, which is the newest, uh, the, you know, the exclusive variation here. With the hollow grind, satin finish, beautiful blade, awesome profile. And this thing is sharp, guys. It really is. Uh, overall weight's 4.3 ounces. It is a, a liner lock. An interesting liner lock. Um, that would be something I'm going to talk about here. It's, uh, you know, from what I've seen in past videos on the Gail Bradley 2, uh, it's it's there, but it's you got to go find it. Yeah, it's it's got the cutout here, but it doesn't exactly stick out super far. So... Uh, if you're not really trying, you're going to graze right over it, and, and then all of a sudden you're out here like, well, where'd it go? Where'd I go? So you got to kind of dig in and push, and it, it will, you will find it. You just got to, every knife's got its own little quirks, its own little little situation you got to figure out. So this one's definitely, the lock is a little different. It's strong. It holds up. No, no blade play, no lock rock, no lock stick. I mean, it's smooth. It moves over smoothly. It's just nestled in there quite nicely. I don't know if you can tell there. I mean, you move it to the profile side and it looks like this thing doesn't have a lock. So it's, you know, a little bit of a, a hunting game with the thumb there. But other than that, I mean, it it locks up quite nicely. Got some awesome uh, little standoffs here. It's very, it's well built. It feels, feels strong. It feels really strong. You know, basic pocket clip. Got the little spoon there. And it's, you know, it's smooth, no hot spots there. It feels good in the hand. Um, it's in uh, made in Taichung, Taiwan, it's, uh, which supposedly pumps out some really high quality stuff. And so far, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely, this one's definitely uh, showing to be true. Uh, it, it really is, it's been, it's pretty well made. We got the Gale Bradley Weatherford um, Texas symbol. Kind of proud of that, that's my, it's my state represent uh, another thing I'd talk about on this on this guy uh, the detent so let's see if I can do this I was practicing this if you hold it just right and I'm gonna look like an idiot oh come on oh there we go I did it didn't get it quite on camera but yeah if you hold it just right and flick out the, the detents a little a little on the soft side here I mean it's not quite pulling the blade down like it like I normally like yeah, see, it's pretty, it's pretty soft, but surprisingly, despite that, it flicks out nicely, guys. It's, I mean, it really, it fires out nice, nice little click to it, reverse little spidey flicks, no problem. It feels great. So a couple things, that'd be the couple things I would uh, put on the, you know, eh, list. It would be the, the liner lock, 
compression lock would be awesome on this thing. But then you're going into the territory of, I mean, why don't we just, why don't we just have a Spyderco uh, PM2, you know? I mean, it's, it's, it's very similar. Speaking of that, let's, let's do some size comparisons on it. Let's see what we got here. We were just talking about the PM2. So there we are. There's some obvious differences in the blade shape. But size-wise, size-wise, actually, the Gale Bradley's, uh, it's bigger. It's got a, it's, it, you know, this is a, kind of at an angle, so it's a little, little optical illusion there. But this, the Gale Bradley is a little, little longer than the PM2. And then uh, I'm out here digging through my pockets. And then uh, <laughs> the PM3 is obviously much shorter. So there's some good size comparisons there. Most people have owned the these two knives, so you can kind of, gauge where we're at on the size but uh <clears throat> yeah overall man this thing's uh yeah i was a little you know at first kind of uh you know like eh, a little, little it's a little different a little get little uh, you gotta get used to it but uh you know i'm not I've, i think this is my first uh liner lock spider co i'm thinking back i've had so many spider co's most of them compression lock you know you got the manix to appear with the uh whatever they call it now the ball bearing lock i can't remember what it's called sorry that that uh, escapes my brain right now then i've had some you know <clears throat> back locks i don't know that i've had any <clears throat> liner lock spider coats this is the first for me first gale bradley 2 and first liner lock it's not drop shut it says uh, i think it runs on washers it says but I don't know. It's not. Uh, maybe I have to adjust it a little bit, but it's not. Uh, it's smooth when you just you know roll it out and push it down here. It's it's quite smooth, but yeah, it's there's not really a drop shut action on this thing. For those who like that, you know, you may not be able to get that on this thing. But overall, um, I'm pleased with it. It's it's definitely. Uh, I'm looking forward to using it more. It's it's really a, it's quite a nice blade shape. I like the hollow ground. It, it's beautiful to look at. Well, this thing, the satin finish is it is nice, nice and reflective. Let's do some let's do some not size comparisons, but let's do some cutting tests on it. All right, sorry, I had to grab some paper out of there. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, man, man, guys. I gotta do another one. That was, <laughs> that's pretty smooth. Let's make a mess out here. Wow. Wow. Let's see if you can see it better. That's crazy. Man, that's, that's about the sharpest, that's definitely the sharpest thing I've handled all day, man. That's awesome. Holy cow. See, I have not tried it out that much on the, on cutting paper. That's, that's gonna plow through cardboard or anything you want crew wear it's nice steel i don't know guys i like it it's one of those funky ones that kind of grow on you but this one's growing on me pretty fast i'm just not used to the liner lock spider co's if you can think of some that are out there i can't think of any models that uh that have that um i know they're out there but not a lot I mean, they're, they pride themselves on that compression lock, and then the, like I said, the Manix 2 with the that big ball bearing lock that they've got. Um, yeah, and then the back lock for most uh, for most other uh, models. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't uh, just for me anyway. I, I have uh, maybe I'm just one of the weirdos that lucked out and didn't get one. This is my first liner lock Spider Co, and I'm impressed with it, guys. This is. This is not a bad option. This is not a bad one to go with. I like it. So there we go. I like it. Is that what I said? That's, that's it. That's how we end this review. I like it. You know? Take that to the bank. You know? Like, hey, I watched this video and this guy says he likes it. So I'll take 10. Beautiful knife. I mean, beautiful is, you know, I say beautiful. It's beautiful to some. Maybe not to all. You know, spider coes have their their look. They do have a look. Uh, but I'm gonna say this is uh, this is an interesting option. I do wish it was a little more drop shut, maybe, and uh, 
the detent. Maybe the detent was a little, little more, a uh, little more powerful. But it's, it is what it is. You know, you can't have everything. But uh, that's it for me, guys. That's about all I had to say on this wackadoo knife here, the Blade HQ exclusive, Gale Bradley Two Jade Handles Crew Wear Steel. Make sure you can get that on camera. If you want one, get one. Last I checked, they still have them. They just started popping them out there, so I think there's plenty for plenty for most. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. I'll be back with some more stuff for you. Take it easy.